Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mikey Bustos bringing you another video. I wanted to geek out a little bit because, um, you know, I was thinking today it's it was a relatively warm day, but it's probably one of our last warm days. And then I went on to think about the insects that are flying around. You know, I saw some flies and some ants even. Um, and, you know, I started to think about their hibernation and all of that. And I just wanted to bring to people's awareness, um, you know, how prolific insects are. Um, you know, I love insects. I really do. They are just so fascinating. Um, and ever since I was a little kid, I loved, loved insects. Um, they were my favorite animals. Um, you know, uh, just as an aside, of all the species that human beings have ever discovered, half of those species are insects. You know, isn't that incredible? Like, that shows you the kind of diversity um, you know that exists in within the class insecta you know there are so many species and then half of those species are beetles which comes to show you these <laughs> the variety of beetle species there are you know in the world a quarter of all species of animals we've ever discovered in the world including everything you can think of have been beetles you know and that it's just insects are just totally amazing um, and a lot of people are grossed out by it, but I grew up loving them. Um, and in fact, I studied them and I would go to the library as a kid and always get insect books. And, you know, I would capture them and, and observe them in jars and create habitats for them as a kid. Um, and I had like my own kind of like natural museum going on in my basement. Um, and I just love them so much. Eventually, I read all the insect books, and I needed a little bit more sophisticated insect books. So even in elementary and early high school, I was reading through, um, like, university textbooks on insects. Um, and by grade, around grade 7, grade 6, I had memorized all the, um, you know, the taxonomic orders of all the insects. And to prove to you how geek geeked out I am and how passionate I am about insects, I tweeted um, a tweet asking my tweeters to just randomly name as many insects as they can. And so some of you guys did and I and I'm going to name the taxonomic order of the insects that you've listed. So let's see here. Mm. Here we go. Dragonfly, Odonata, is the name of the order of that. Bees, Hymenoptera. Wasps, also Hymenoptera. Ladybug, Coleoptera. Firefly. Firefly. I think that's Coleoptera, actually. If not Coleoptera, Homoptera. But my guess first is Coleoptera. That's a good one. Grasshoppers are part of um, Orthoptera. Locusts, also part of Orthoptera. Mosquitoes, the family of flies. Diptera. Oops. And, um, millipede. Those, those actually are not insects, but they belong to the group of animals under Diplopoda. Um, crickets, they are also under Orthoptera. Centipede, those are Chilo Chilopoda. That's a different... Those aren't insects either. Um, and of course, ants, those belong to Hymenoptera. I love ants. Um, flies, uh, diptera, cockroaches. Cockroaches belong to Blatodia. Mm. Termites belong to uh, Isoptera. That's the order of termites. Um, and you have some more here. Black bug. Um, I'm not sure what that is because it probably has many com common names. Um, but if it's a true bug, it belongs to Homoptera. And uh, dragonfly, of course, Odonata, Aud as I said. Black widow, oh, those aren't insects. However, they belong to Arachnida, um, and in particular, the group called Aranae. Oh, and I love the scientific name of uh, black widows, which is Latrodectus mactans. Isn't that nice? Just Latrodectus mactans. If I had a scientific name, I would love to be called Latrodectus mactans. Um, ladybugs belong to Coleoptera. Mole crickets, um, not too sure exactly what the com what the scientific uh, specification of your mole cricket is, but if it's a cricket, then it belongs to um, Orthoptera, but if it is, it could also be part of um, another group 
um, you know, for example, Grillo Blattodia, but I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, and there are other insects, come on guys, you're missing so many earwigs, which belong to Dermoptera, um, <laughs> uh, praying mantises, which belong to Mentodia, very cool group of insects, butterflies and moths, which belong to um, uh, Lepidoptera, you know. Anyways, I could go on forever and ever. I love insects, and in fact, I even run a business called the Ants Canada Ant Store, which is a, a sort of like a manufacturing slash um, ant keeping hub for ant keepers all over the world, and we create homes for uh, ant keepers, um, and you know, for colonies of ants, and we sell literature, and we have all sorts of information on our site, um, and this is stuff that I've compiled together just because I love ants so much, and in fact, ants are my favorite insects um, of all insects. Um, why? Because I feel like they're the most like human beings, and we have a lot to learn from them, and they're just so fascinating. Um, and, you know, ants have been around since the dinosaurs. That's 65 million years ago. You know, we're talking like the dinosaur age, Mesozoic era, you know. So anyways, this is my rant on insects. Do you guys love insects? I know a lot of you don't <laughs> and you guys squish them, but they are so, so vital to the ecosystem. They exist at lower trophic levels in the food chain so a lot of animals including human beings believe it or not depend on their existence so uh, the next time you see an insect please spare it and don't kill it thanks guys love you thanks for watching bye